I've been up to a lot since we've last spoken. I just recently had a five year anniversary party here. I got to invite a lot of clients. We had a huge party, had a heavy metal band here. I've done art for a long time since I was a kid, but to actually do it on your own and survive for five years, I'm like, I think over the hump, they say. My family's been really good and supportive, obviously, but there's been other people along the way. You have to not be so stubborn and, and let other people come into your small little world and help grow it. When you look back at a portfolio of work you've done and made a lot of people happy along the way, it feels good to you know, keep the lights on and I think I'm growing as far as you know, popularity because as an artist you need like that sort of following. Like I get people like, I've been following you for five years, I finally saved up to get my bike painted. At the beginning I got more walk-ins, now I'm getting like bikes from all over the country like Texas, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Michigan. And that one's over there is from Georgia. Actually there was one piece I did, they drove all the way from Minnesota and it was an ice cream truck. And it was one of those old metro vans but they wanted to look like the old, like it was been sitting around forever. I was like heck yeah. So that kind of like steamroll and I've done a bunch of old vans. That's been pretty exciting to be able to now brand that following that I created. People from Germany, Spain, guys that are doing bikes that look like I've done and they're like, you've been an inspiration. And then I try to ask for tips and tricks and stuff like that. And I created a YouTube page too since then. Kind of neat. A little more worldwide recognition is happening right now. People really gravitate to my look, I guess. I knew that I was creating something that people wanted a piece of, you know, and I think a brand, people want a piece of it. And I'm trying to express sort of the hand done. The road isn't perfect, life isn't perfect. And so that's kind of where I want hand done, drawn like art that, you know, is part of me that people like. And I also believe art is sort of that raw grit personality of yourself. We get a lot of younger artists that ask, well, what should I be doing? And I go, when you feel like you're carving your niche, I think that that's when you're onto something. Everyone's talking about technique, and when they look at my bikes, they don't know how it was done. They look at it and they're like, is that a wrap? I kind of like that, people don't know the technique. I think that, that you go to these shows and everyone's talking technique, and it's more, it's gotta be a feeling to me, like a good song, you know? Started a whole new t-shirt design brand called J Moto Designs. That's been pretty exciting. Taking my art that people really gravitate towards and been selling pretty good. And now we got an actual design front to the gallery. Some people can't really afford to pay their paychecks to a whole paint job on these bikes that I do. I mean, I get that, but people want t-shirts. We'd have cruise nights every Thursday. It'd be barbecues and bikes and all kinds of fun stuff here. And then in the winter time, everyone's got cabin fever. So I like hand select some of my good friends and guys that I think are really good at, at either welding or wiring or just good to have around the shop. It's definitely a commune of artists. And you know, I get kind of lonely just having the studio here by myself, to be honest, yeah. I have a bike that I purchased for like 750 bucks. And I'm like, let's build this thing, you know? It's an XS400. Actually, my t-shirt partner in doing all the JMO designs bought the bike. I seen it online and we thought it was an XS650 and we're gonna do something different to it. Turns out it was a 400, whatever. We found the lineage and we have the correct title for it. And I'm like, let's make this a fun build. A little quirky bike. The frame's kind of ugly a little bit. It's not all right. And I'm like, this is a chance to just I guess, kindle our building spirit, but not have any pressure. Like, this is for a client. No, this is just for us. We're just gonna have fun. We're gonna maybe talk some crap. Like, you guys don't know what you're talking about. That'll never work, you know, like, but we'll have fun with it. And that's kind of the whole idea. It's honestly to blow off steam. Yeah, it's like a jam night. It's totally like a jam night, because we do that too here. We got guitars here. We're into kind of the same music, but then we have differences too. You know, it's like when we're building the bikes, you know, what you know, what song's better than the other? It's kind of that creative camaraderie, and yeah, it's a jam night for sure. 
Now I have the freedom, I think, that I didn't before, where I could have pet projects at the shop. Things are going well enough to where now we can like have some fun. And I think in the times that we're in, it feels good to just have those moments to hang out. Yeah, at one point we're all custom working on a bike together, you know, and like sometimes you get like, guys, this isn't just about hanging out and drinking beer. Like, let's get some done, you know? And then when that starts to happen, it feels like there's a different bond happening. And that's what's, I think, pretty cool. That's a win when somebody sees what a transformation I did to their bike or car or their ice cream truck. You can see almost their personality, like they are speechless and they get goosebumps and that kind of vibe. And uh, I think that's what's really what it's all about. And I don't think that's changed since day one. You know, and I think if you keep trying to have fun and keep doing this knowing that you're gonna make someone else feel that excitement, then it isn't really about the results. It's about the reaction. <laughs>